guys welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title above you will be cooking with me today i will be making some tex-mex enchiladas these are the enchiladas that my family makes um but i do add an extra ingredient that they don't so let's go ahead and get started so right now i'm going to show you the ingredients you will be needing the first thing that you're going to need is a ground beef we use about a pound. Well, we get a pound, but we normally don't use all of it, but this is just what we buy. And then also you're gonna need a pound of block cheese. Um, you can use shredded cheese if you would like to. I prefer block cheese because I feel like it melts a whole lot easier and it's a lot creamier than using shredded cheese. You're gonna need two cans of chili. It does not have to be this brand, but this is the brand I like to use. So like I said, you could use whatever you like, but this is what we like to get. And also some tortillas, any kind of corn tortillas. These are the ones we grabbed. Nah, it's really my favorite, but they're gonna have to do for dinner today. And also you're gonna need some oil to fry your tortillas. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you are going to do is go ahead and start your pan. Put it on medium low because you don't wanna burn your hamburger meat because then that's gonna be disgusting. So let's go ahead and you. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do right now is get the carne started. So you want to go ahead and start. You put, first of all, you put your pan on medium low. You don't want it too high because you don't want to dry out the meat and you don't want to burn it. So the first thing we're going to do is, like I said, put the meat on, let it start to sizzle and cook a little. And that's the first thing we're going to do. And then these are the spices that you will add to your carne. Um, it's optional. You really don't have to add spices, but I like to um, because I feel like it does give a bland flavor if you don't. So these are the spices that you're going to need. Black pepper, some salt, onion powder, you see it, onion powder, and a little garlic powder. Literally need a little bit. You don't need too much. You just want to literally put a tiny bit just so your garden it has a little more flavor because if not it's just gonna be the flavor of the chili and you don't want and you do want your garden it to have more flavor than just the chili flavor so remember just a little bit of everything not too much you don't want to overpower anything so look at that sizzle so the next step that you're going to do while that is cooking, you're going to go ahead and open your can of chili and go ahead and put them on low heat so they can start warming up and come to a boil. All right, so once we added both cans of chili in there, you're going to go ahead and fill up a little bit of water. Not fill it up necessarily. You're going to put about this much water into the right below where it says chili. This is to give it a little more broth. Otherwise, it's just going to be really, really thick. So you want a little bit of water, and you are going to have to bring this to a boil because you did put water in it. So now that we have our, our water in our chili, we're going to go ahead and bring this to a boil. So I'm going to put it on medium heat. A while ago, I think I said low heat, but I want to put it on medium heat so it does come to a little boil. Okay, so I went ahead and brought the turned the chili down because it's already boiling and I don't want it to splash everywhere and start burning me so I went ahead and brought that down and I'm also going to go ahead and get started on my tortilla so I'm going to move this over here let that chill I actually like to start doing the um the chili sauce first for the fact that we're going to have to dip the tortillas in there so I like to do that first so that way it kind of cools down a little bit before I start sticking my fingers and burning my skin off so that's why I did that first so now I'm just gonna add some oil into the pan, let it get hot, and then we'll start frying our tortillas. Okay, so our aceite is ready to start dropping the corn tortillas so we can start frying them, but before I do so, I forgot to mention a while ago that the carne is already finished. I went ahead and turned it off because I don't want it to get burned or anything. So it's already cooling down, chilling on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and start dropping our tortillas, but before I do that, only fry them for literally and i mean literally like 10 seconds on each side that's all you need because if not they're going to get two tostaditas and then they're not going to roll the way you want them to roll for your enchiladas so just let them fry for a few seconds flip it over and then take it out Okay, so I have everything ready. I got my carne, my chili, my cheese, and my tortillas. So now we're gonna go ahead and start preparing the enchiladas and I'm gonna show you how to do so. 
So the first thing you're going to do is dip your tortilla in the chili sauce. Grab a little bit of the carne, as much as you like to have in there. Then you're going to grab a little more chili sauce, put that right on top. And then a little bit of cheese, and then you're going to roll them. And then you're going to push it to the side, and then you're going to do this all over again. And then you're going to grab another tortilla and then do the same thing. And you're just going to repeat the process the entire time. And I do recommend if you make these to do the chili at the beginning like I do it. Because if not, it's going to be super hot. Like right now, it's still hot. But it's bearable. So I would recommend you do the same thing. If not, you're going to be burning your fingers bad. Okay, so now I'm done. I did forget to mention at the beginning of the video, I didn't mention it because I assumed you should already know this, but wash your hands because your hands are going to get super disgusting because of how we're rolling them and everything. So now the last step is you're going to pour the remaining chili sauce onto your enchiladas. Just like that. Oh my God, I got a mess everywhere. You're going to spread it through across the enchiladas, trying to get them evenly. And then you're going to get some more cheese, sprinkle the cheese on top. And you can put as much cheese as you want on them. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hands real quick and then I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. Okay, so my oven is already preheated to 350. I'm about to put these in there and you will put these in the oven for about 10 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted. All right, so this is what your enchiladas should look like. Completely melted, delicious, look at that. Yum, enchiladas. So I got my plate served. All right, so before I end this video, I have to take a bite. That's what it tastes like. Of course, I know what it tastes like, but let's taste it again. Mm. Got some rice here, too. Mm, this came out so delicious. So, damn, that came out good. So, earlier I mentioned that I do something different than my parents do, or that my family does. They don't add carne. I add carne. Um, I guess to give them more flavor. So that's the difference. I don't think I mentioned it earlier. But that's the only thing different I do to my enchiladas that my parents and stuff do. Or don't do. Is I add the carne. And I feel like the carne gives it so much more flavor. So do me a favor. Add all right, guys, that's going to go ahead and end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cooking vlog. I really enjoyed doing it, and I would like to do it again. Let me know what you would like to see me make. Go ahead and drop it down below. And thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you do get notified every time I post a new video. And if there is any particular videos you would like to see, drop it down in the comment box below. And thanks for watching. Bye.